A reading from the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. I gazed into the visions of the night and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship. And men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore you before your holy temple. In the presence of the Lord, I will bless you, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. In the the presence presence of the the angels, angels, I will bless you, O Lord. All the earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways, how great is the glory of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, I will bless you. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants, to do his will. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There is an Israelite who deserves the name incapable of deceit. How do you know me? said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. Jesus replied, you believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you, most solemnly, you will see heaven laid open and above the Son of Man, the angels of God ascending and descending. The Gospel of the Lord. We understand and know as human beings that we are both body and soul. That there is a world that we can see and a world that we cannot see. We possess a unique and sublime dignity being made in God's image. The tragedy of death is that we are separated from our body and we are, in a very real sense then, incomplete. The hope of the resurrection is that on that last day, at the final judgment, our soul will be reunited with our body and we will become whole.
whole again, partakers in the divine nature. The body may not look the same as we've got now, hopefully it's better, but we will be reunited with the body. To be a Christian is to have an other world view, really, not restricted to understanding on the world's terms, which sees only by senses or the dictum of science, which is seeing is believing. We're encouraged to embrace a supernatural vision. We cannot truly embrace the gospel and its treasures without understanding that some things we can see and others we can't. Jesus promised Nathaniel that one day he would have a beatific vision, which he describes as we've just heard. You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. We have Jesus' words for that. Rooted and anchored in scripture and tradition is the truth that there exists spiritual, non-corporeal bodies, beings, called angels. St. Augustine taught us that angel is the name of their office, not their nature. Angels are pure spirits and messengers of God. They always see the face of God and exist to do his will and obey his word. They are servants of those of us who will inherit salvation. And of course we know there's a hierarchy within the angelic realm. And today we celebrate the role in salvation history of the chief angels, the archangels, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. Michael is a warrior, often shown in armour and a spear fighting the devil. Who He, it was, who drove Lucifer out of heaven. Gabriel is God's chief messenger and, as we know, appeared to the Virgin Mary to announce that particular special birth. Raphael means God heals and he restored the sight of Tobit and provided Sarah with a husband, as you remember. And we can learn from the angels, whose focus and reason for existing is to serve Christ. And this is also the reason why we exist. We are blessed because God has willed that all believers have an angel watching over them, from the beginning of their life to its end. These angels, like Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, are servants, they are shepherds and protectors, and they lead us to life. Are you familiar with your own guardian angel? <laughs>